So this week I redid my display closet and the top shelf is all of the Disney Plus stuff, the middle shelf is all original trilogy, but I have this empty space right here and I want to put a Return of the Jedi Boba Fett figure, but I'm not sure which one. So we're going to compare the SH Figure Arts, the Black Series, and the Mafex Boba Fett, which I just got in yesterday. Hobby Link Japan was having these on sale for 50 bucks. They used to go for over $100 on the third-party market, like eBay, but they were just re-released, and I've had it on pre-order from Big Bad Toy Store for a few months, uh, or maybe closer to a year, for $75, but shipping did come out to $30 for two of them, uh, but the price kind of evened out, and it shipped in like four days from Japan. So let's take a look at that one first. My first Star Wars Mafex figure was the C-3PO and R2-D2 pack, and that C-3PO's joints are super loose, like they're just kind of flopping all over the place, so I kind of wrote off Mafex, but then I got the Sand Trooper, and that figure is really cool, so I'm, I was happy to check this one out, and I've heard really good things about the Mafex Boba Fett's. I did have him pre-posed here, but he does come with these hands, and what's cool about the Mafex is they come on these little plastic pegs so you don't lose them, even though they didn't really stay on that well, but you can store them kind of like that, and then when you switch the hands out you have somewhere to put them. He doesn't come with that many accessories, he just comes with three alternate hands. He had the two fisted hands in the box initially. But as you'll see, Figure Arts is known for having lots of alternate hands, alternate heads sometimes as well. So we're going to get all three of these unboxed, take a quick look at the accessories, and then we will compare the three figures themselves. Figure Arts boxes, the hands always go flying when you open them up, especially if you hold them at 90 degrees like I just did. But uh, here's a quick look at what comes in that box. Nothing too exciting, just a few different alternate hands. I think the price on these Figure Arts Boba Fetts has dropped a little bit now that Mafex is putting theirs back out because the Mafex ones are really the gold standard for the longest time and I was just waiting to find one for under $150 honestly. Now the Black Series Boba Fett is considered one of the best Black Series figures of all time. He comes with this alternate alternate gun here that I've never seen anyone actually use, and then some, uh, you know, some flame effects and that sort of thing. I'm gonna open this, I guess I had to open this from the top when I first got it. I did do some customizing on this figure, so it's not gonna be a perfect representation of this figure. If you are considering buying it, I recommend checking out some other YouTubers' reviews where they just pull it straight out of the package. I'll go into that a little bit later. Let's get his jetpack out. I do have a custom cape on him as well but uh, we'll ignore that for now. And now let's take a look at the actual figures next to each other. I've got them all into the same pose here, just so it's an easier comparison. This review is gonna be mostly visual, you know, just like whatever you can see from this will probably aid in your decision. We'll go into it in a little bit more detail though, and just to keep them straight, I will put their boxes behind them so we know that we have Mafex on the left, Figure Arts in the middle, and Black Series on the right. Like I said, I did some weathering on the Black Series one, so his uh, pants and that sort of thing are a little bit darker than they would be straight out of the package, but we can still look at sculpt and details and kind of appreciate things that way. Now looking at the figure arts first, I feel like the helmet on this guy is really undersized. I don't really feel like a human head could fit in there. He has this rubber cape, which I really don't mind. I don't like the fabric capes because they just kind of blow all over the place. The overall paint job on this feels really light, like he just looks a little bit cartoonish almost, like it looks like an animated uh, boba. There's just not a lot of detail in a lot of these areas. Articulation is pretty good, I love the figure arts articulation system. This plastic is also a lot harder than the Black Series, same is true for the Mafex. The Black Series has this sort of softer rubbery plastic where you feel like you can kind of like warp a little bit. This feels like if you bend it uh, pieces too far they will snap rather than just like warp. Um, the shoulder pad's a little funky as well, I'm not too sure how I feel about those, but I suppose it may aid in the articulation. But uh, I'm gonna give him that little boba head tilt. The same is true of the guns on the Mafex and the Figure Arts. They're very hard plastic. They feel like they would snap if you bent them the wrong way, whereas the Black Series one just kind of bends, and you can see it's even bent a little bit over there. I apologize for the focus here. I'm shooting this in a new location, and it's a little bit difficult for me to see uh, the screen on my camera while I'm shooting this, but here's the articulation there. This one seems to have really good articulation, and I like how hidden it is. I think it's done really expertly. Really nice range of motion on the elbow there as well. 
We'll put him back into position here. I feel like his legs are a little skinny. I don't know why they, uh, like the Black Series one looks a little bit better scaled on the lower half. I like kind of the baggy look. And you can see how different the color of the flight suit is on this one here. And the jetpack is also a little bit different as well. Apologies again for the focus issues on the close-ups, but less articulation here than we see on the other ones. I don't think you really need to go past 90. Although on the elbow, I do feel like it is a little bit limited in getting him into that uh, gun holding pose that I think a lot of people may want to display him in. It's kind of one of the only ways we see him in the movie. But um, overall, you know, the, this definitely shines as a Black Series figure. But uh, between these three, let me know what you guys think. I'm really interested to see which one you think is your favorite. Let's pretend they all cost the same amount. Which one would you be picking up? Here's a look at the jetpacks. The figure arts coloring seems a little bit off. I think the Mafex and Black series got it a little bit closer. I love the kind of mustardy yellow on the one on the left. It's a little bit less cartoonish than the one on the right. Figure Arts one actually looks less cartoonish than the Black Series one to me in this case, just for the jetpack. I like the way that the... or actually they all have a little bit of the bronzy red tip on the jetpack. Full range of motion on the uh, rangefinder here. You could really see the difference in helmet size on the Figure Arts one here. I just think it's... like he's, he's so tiny. And Figure Arts figures do tend to scale a little bit smaller. I think on the shelf they look properly sized, like you don't really clock it as much, but when you've got all three of them together here, the size difference really is noticeable. Let's take one final look here at the three of them. So I think I have made my decision here on which one is going to go on the shelf. I wonder if you guys have figured out which one it is yet. If you guess Mafex Boba, you are correct. I just think this one really wins overall in terms of sculpt accuracy. It just looks really premium. I think the paint job is really neat. I think the silver on the helmet is a little much, but I really love the way that this looks. I do wish the legs were a little beefier. They look a little bit skinny, but here's how it looks on the shelf, officially completing my original trilogy display. At least for now, it will be constantly evolving. Here's one final look at that collection. I did do a collection tour as my first video on this channel. I'll need to redo that soon as I have acquired a lot of new figures and changed things around a lot since I made that video. But if you've made it this far, please leave a like if you want to see more content like this. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you all next time.